You can really communicate with music in a non-verbal way. You don't need to talk the same language. You don't need to have this, the same culture. You don't need to have the same knowledge. You can understand music or maybe not understand but uh, being touched by music. A few years ago, it was during the time we started uh, planting the church. And after observing the city, we just uh, figured out that uh, a gospel choir would be a wonderful project for the city. The idea was to recruit somebody uh, skilled. Ella did a, a youth camp with my kids and during the concerts she started singing and I was like this is the woman I'm praying for. He came to see me at the end of that and he said, uh, so I have a question for you. Uh, what are you doing for the next 10 years? And it was very scary for me <laughs> because it was some, someone I didn't know uh, to a place I didn't know either. And But it answered to um, a really long prayer that I have to be able to live with music and especially with gospel music. I'd like to <laughs> talk about my choir as a family and this is very, very important for me and I am saying that all the time. And at the beginning I was saying it, but you know, it has to become really something. And in three years I can really see the family. I can see them uh, taking care of, of the others after working three years with Bella, it's definitely clear for me that naturally she's skilled to share the gospel to the people. She knows how to include people and how to value them. In France, people don't like to hear about the gospel. When they do, they think about how the religion has hurt uh, people and stuff, so they they don't want to hear about it. In the gospel music, you have something. You have an energy, you have something spiritual, you have a joy that you cannot find in any other music. So this is exactly why they like to hear about gospel music. It's because they they can sense something they cannot explain, but, um, but that they like.